Welcome to the Bulletproof Cashflow Podcast, the go-to place to gain financial freedom through real estate investing. Here we interview investors, mentors, and entrepreneurs who share their secrets and advice to help you build passive income. Let's get into the show. You know, if you stay in real estate long enough, you will likely be sued. It happens when you or your property managers are dealing with so many people over any amount of time. And the best thing to do is to prepare for it through proper planning and organization of the property. So unfortunately, dealing with legal issues is part of the job when it comes to real estate. Just about every property manager or landlord out there has come across some legal issue and I'm sure they can attest to it. For the most part though, tenants are good, honest people. They just want to live their lives and you know, if they have a legitimate issue, it's our responsibility as landlords to provide quality places for our tenants to live. However, there are some nightmare tenants out there, right? Fortunately, there are things you can do to protect yourself from unscrupulous and problem tenants. And here are the four things that you can do to reduce the threat of suits and insulate yourself and your personal assets. So the first thing is proper tenant screening. Now, this is where it all begins. When it comes to avoiding lawsuits, the best thing to do is to start with the previous landlords. You know, call the numbers that they provide on, on the tenant application and speak to the tenant's work ethic, their character, and their cleanliness. You know, ask about unapproved subletters and pets. Um, you, know, you want to create a demographic picture of that person to determine if it's congruent with the person filling out the application. That's what you're looking to do. The problem tenants may even have their friends pose as landlords. So you want to make sure you're verifying who you're speaking with. And you, know, you can ask them questions that typical landlords would, would know, right? You know, looking them up on social media and seeing what groups they belong to is another way to verify if the landlord is real. And of course, this is above all else, you know, you're, you're all, all above your background check. And you can do some, uh, look for some past evictions, uh, criminal convictions and other legal incidents. And finally, either you or someone from your management company have a face-to-face -face discussion with the prospective tenant as this curve for shadow problems. You know, specifically, listen to what they complain about. And you know, if, if they're complaining, they'll probably have the same sort of complaints about you down the road. So just keep that in mind. Number two, video record the units and re record all the audio discussions as well. One of the most frustrating things to deal with is a tenant that makes a false claim of something that you said or something you didn't say. You know, keep in mind that for many of the tenants that you don't want, they'll say or do just about anything. And to avoid this, make sure you record every phone call, keep every email, scan every document. Take pictures of them too. There are many free mobile apps out there to allow you to record automatically. And if you're in an office environment, most phone systems will handle automatic call recording. Certain states require you provide notice to obtain consent before recording. So if you're in like one of those office phone systems, the notification may be enough at the beginning, but uh, you know, you talk to your attorney before setting all this up, right? This is not legal advice. Uh, and any, you know, never make any verbal commitment to anything. At a minimum, get a text message and make sure that it's, everything's backed up to the cloud, all right? Additionally, make sure you video and take plenty of pictures of the unit before handing it over to the tenant. You know, even go so far as printing out photos and attaching them to the lease if you have to. This will prevent the tenant from saying that the carpets were stained when they, when they got the keys. You know, and always have complete records of communication in the chances that you end up going to court for some frivolous reason. And uh, I'll tell you what, that'll disappear once, um, once you get there. Have a detailed and straightforward lease. Okay, number three. Always get a lease and, and walk through it with a tenant. Get a signature on it and get an initial on every page. Never, never, never take a tenant on with just a handshake and handing them a key. All right, that's the last thing you want to do is end up in court for a non-paying tenant and you don't have an executed lease in your hands. If you're in a courtroom that is tenant friendly, you will lose your case and you're done. A comprehensive ironclad lease is your best way to protect yourself and your cash flow. The more you have in writing, the less opportunity there is for the tenant to wiggle their way out of what was promised, and, and the lesser the chance that you will la and land in court, really. And number four, you know, have a great attorney on speed dial. The right attorney on your team goes a long way. And you've heard me talk a lot about teams before. That, that's probably one of the key things when it comes to managing the landlord relationship. 
the money spent on creating a bulletproof lease, putting together an LLC, and protecting your assets will go a long way. This is the one thing you don't want to skimp on as the time wasted protecting yourself from frivolous lawsuits is will be way more expensive. A good attorney that specializes in landlord-tenant law is super important. So if you have a lot going on, form a relationship with a good attorney and talk to them often about what's going on in the city, if there's any new statutes that may impact you as a lawyer or as, an attorney, as, a, as a landlord. You know, maybe even take them out to lunch every once in a while and pick their brain too. That's a good way to form that relationship. You can use information on as an, an underwriting as well. It's really good for that. You know, most tenants are good people, and most landlords want to provide good housing. You know, however, you can't completely protect yourself from from lawsuits. There are so many professional criminals out there. These tenant uh, victims, and people that misunderstand their their responsibilities as a, as a tenant too. These are the ones that will come after you as their mentality is, well, because they're a landlord, they have all the money. No, these are the ones you want to guard against. Your diligence, your consistency, and your thoroughness will save you time, money, and in your sanity as well. So what do you guys think? You know, how, do, how do you keep yourself out of the courtroom? Leave a comment. Let me know. And, uh, you know, as always, if you guys like the video, please go ahead and share. appreciate it. Thank you very much. Talk to you guys soon.